Hey, this is Phil from VideoSchoolOnline.com. Today I'm answering another question from my Adobe After Effects course. This question comes from Abdul Rahman. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm so glad you're in the course. You seem to be having a good time. Your question was, when you're editing the using the graph editor for multiple properties, how can you choose one of the graphs or one of the properties to edit and not have to deal with all of the selected graphs. So I'm gonna show you what I would do in Adobe After Effects. Here we have this bouncing ball that I just created. It's bouncing, the shape is kind of changing while it bounces, and then I also just for fun added a stroke that comes on when it come, bounces up and then disappears when it goes to the ground, just so that we have three different, different keyframes or properties to deal with. So typically what I was showing you in the class to use the graph editor is you would select all these keyframes and then click the graph editor right here. And then you would get to the graph editor and then you would move these graphs around. But what you were asking was how do you select a single graph so that when I select one of these keyframes, it's easy to find the right one. Well, one thing you can do is just make sure that you only select the graph over here on the left hand side of what you want to use. So see, we can click the stroke width and just get the stroke graph. We can check the position or the scale just to get the scale graph. And that will allow us just to see those specific graphs. Another thing you can do is with, key, with your short keyboard shortcuts. So if what we want, we can just press P to bring up position and then select position or S to bring up scale and bring up scale. I don't know what the keyboard shortcut for the stroke option is. So we're going to actually have to dive into the ellipse and then just go to, to the stroke width. Or another thing you can do is press U on your keyboard and that brings up just the properties that you've added keyframes to. So you don't have to deal with the rest of that junk that we were seeing before. You can just see scale position width select them individually or shift click them and select multiple ones. Say you want to edit the position and scale together. You can do that. And then you want to edit the stroke separately. You can do whatever you want. Hopefully this answered your question if you're on in the course or not. And if you aren't in the course, but you're interested in the course, I will include links below so that you can enroll at a great discount for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in another tutorial.